Hey. Good evening, mateys, and welcome to Captain Longstreet's Halloween Tales. Tonight's story, which is told to you by Billy Badhass, is called Humans Can Lick Too. It's a story about an old woman and her faithful dog. And if you turn over in the middle of the night and let your arm slip over the side, and you feel a friendly lick on your hand, it's just likely your dog. But not always. Aye. Well, friends, tonight's story is called Humans Can Lick Too. My great-grandmother lived alone in the mountains of her cabin. Her husband, my great-grandfather, had died. So she was up there all alone. Well, she only had one companion, and that was her loving dog. They both loved each other a whole lot. The dog loved her and comforted her. Every night when she went to bed, the dog would lick her hand to let her know that he was there to protect her. Well, sir, one night she'd gone to bed and the dog had licked her hand like he'd done every night since her husband had died. But this night was different. She woke up in the middle of the night because she heard her dog whimpering. Well, she wanted to comfort him and let her know that she was there for him. So she stuck her hand out by the bed and she felt the dog lick her hand like he always did. She figured he was just cold, so she went back to sleep. Well, the dog's whimpering woke her up a second time in the night, so she stuck her hand out again. The dog licked it, and she went back to sleep. And then it happened a third time. She stuck her hand out. The dog stopped whimpering, and he came and licked her hand. Well, she stayed awake a few moments, and the dog had stopped whimpering, so she went back to sleep again. Well, in the morning, she woke up and stuck her hand out by the bed, but ain't nothing licked her hand. Well, she thought the dog was already up, and it just went into the front room. She rolled over, and she got out of her bed, but then she heard a drip. Drip, drip, drip. <laughs> so she walked into the kitchen and turned the handles on the sink faucet. But it, that, that weren't the thing that was dripping. She continued to take to the bathroom to take a shower. She walked in, the drips got louder. She turned above the bathtub and screamed. There, hanging by the light, by his tail, was her loving companion, her dog, with his blood dripping into the bathtub. She screamed and began to cry, wiping her eyes and sobbing. She turned around and looked in the mirror. In the mirror, she saw the dog hanging and written on the mirror with a finger and her dog's blood with drips and streaks hanging down from each letter were the words humans can lick too y'all have a good night